Okay, here's a great idea. Put a high-tech device on top of a water meter so a guy in a truck can read the meters coming down the street. No more people walking house to house reading meters. No more messing human mistakes. Great idea, in theory. In reality, not so much as water customers are now finding out. Here's Kim Holland on special assignment. And they're all what I thought was normal. Jeff Derringer has paid his water bills on time every month. I haven't been behind on my, my water bills. Until January, that is. I couldn't believe it. This month, the city threatened to shut off his water. It all started in January when Derringer opened his water bill. He was blown away by the $4,500 bill. Derringer wondered how this could be. His Santa Fe house's zero escaped. Several years ago, he removed the grass. We have the highest water rates in the country. I had to. The city suspected a leak, but after more research, staff found the culprit. See that black device on the top of the water meter? That little black thing with that little gray wire. That's the problem. It's called a Firefly, a radio-controlled system which allows employees to drive by and collect water meter readings without leaving their truck. Turns out Derringer's malfunctioned and was under-reading his usage for years. How long have you lived in this house? 30 years. So you've never noticed a change in your bill right. dramatically? No. Hmm. No. You can see on Derringer's bills, many months were well over a hundred bucks. And it wasn't like we were getting like $30 a month water bills. We're, we're getting what I thought was regular water bills. After a nearly two month fight with the water department, Derringer said his $4,500 bill dropped to about 1200 bucks. He finally paid the bill last week, the day before he said the city was to shut off his water. But Derringer isn't alone. The city of Santa Fe bought 37,000 Firefly units starting in 2004. A few years later, the devices started having problems. The data wasn't being pulsed into the truck, and so they would stop to find out what was going on, find out the battery was dead, um, remove it, and initially the company that, that sold us the meters uh, was taking them back. Uh, and sending us repaired ones. But in 2012, Datamatic, the maker of the Firefly devices, filed for bankruptcy. So now Santa Fe is stuck with the remaining meters. 20,000 customers still have them, and plenty of them are failing. We're seeing um, between 20 and 50 fail a week, and again, it's the battery. The problems are mostly associated with battery failures, but there are a few other fireflies that are misreading the water meters, creating shocking bills like Derringer's. Why aren't they fixing them? Why aren't they pulling them out? Why aren't they getting meter readers to fix them or you're get another company? Why can't the city of Santa Fe send out meter readers again and get back on the old system? Like we talked about, because of attrition, we've let some people go. The city might not have the staff to read all the meters, but it is currently looking to buy another brand of remote readers. It plans to ask City Hall for the money this fall. On special assignment, Kim Holland, KRQE News 13. Okay, Santa Fe has sued the maker of the Firefly devices for $5 million, but since the company's bankrupt, the city's not likely to see a dime.